back in the news, the biggest loser in controversy and former contestants making claims and looking for lawsuits to make the show taken off the air. And we just happen to have an inside track because we know Big Vinny from Trailer Choir who just happened to be on The Biggest Loser and who happens to be joining us this morning. Good morning, Vinny. Hello. Hey, what's going on, yo? I just must say, you're looking good. Thank you. I'm getting bigger, stronger, and uh, probably lean, I'm the leanest I've been ever in my life. You know, it's amazing to me to see some of these allegations. And, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of what you were offered or what you were told you can do, it's up to you to make a decision. Just for the record, completely false. I was never offered anything on the show. I was one of Bob and Dolvet's favorite contestants. If they were going to push anything to anybody that they wanted to win, it would have been me. These people, what they're doing is they went and made a decision to try and cheat and win the show. And they're trying to say that the show pushed them to do that because the show is like, you got to try and win. And that's just false. I mean, Bob was phenomenal me. Dolvet was phenomenal me. And honestly, the entire crew treated me great. I still talk to him. I mean, I talked to Bob two days ago. You know, I talked to Dovet a couple weeks ago. You know, I still talk to these people all the time. Some of the allegations that are being said, a police officer from season two, her name is Suzanne, you were saying yep. illegal weight loss drugs. They were told to starve themselves, eat baking soda to retain water weight. No, and that's completely ridiculous. Say so That was the early seasons of the show, so maybe it was a little different than what I went through. But you sign a contract from the very beginning that says you're not allowed to do any of this stuff. And if you're caught doing any of this stuff, you will be put off the show. So if you went on to the show and you did that stuff, well, you're the one that cheated because you vowed, you signed your signature on a piece of paper that said you would not do any of that stuff, that it would be all healthy. I don't care if, if somebody from anywhere, from production or from a trainer or anybody else, if they did come up and say that to you, you already said that you knew that that was illegal to do on the show and that you would not do it. In my opinion, if you did do any of that stuff, which it sounds like she probably did cheat and tried to play the game and work the system, then that's her own fault because she already said that she wouldn't before she ever met any of the trainers or any of the staff. You sign that piece of paper before you even get on the show. To me, it just sounds like all these people that have gained back their weight are just making excuses for why they gained back their weight. Absolutely. That's all she's doing. She blames the show for her gaining the weight back. And, you know, I was on the same show. I lost more weight than she did. I was on the show longer and none of that stuff happened to me. And I'm five years out of the show. I'm still kept all my weight off. I get up in the mornings and I go work out every day. I have a diet plan and I know exactly what I'm going to eat. You know, they're saying, well, Biggest Loser contestants gain their weight back because their metabolism is all jacked up. Anybody that goes out and loses 200 pounds, I mean, of course your metabolism is going to drop. You're not carrying around an extra person on your back. You would have to be stronger. You would absolutely use more calories and you would have a higher metabolic rate. So it's ridiculous to say that it's just on Biggest Loser. It's anybody that loses that kind of weight is going to have a lower metabolism when they had 400 pounds on. We know that you support the show and that basically the show has changed your life. It has absolutely saved my life. I'll fight for it. You know, I get up at arms when somebody does say no. something about the show because it meant so much to me and still does mean so much to me. And I'm not saying her journey wasn't different than mine, but I'm saying she's looking for money and She's looking for a lot of extra attention that she don't deserve and she shouldn't be getting. She's getting exactly what she wants. She's going to get another two and a half minutes of some kind of fame and then she'll go away. And, you know, she comes up with a lawsuit. She will get completely stricken and she will lose badly.